A Bowl Full of Peace, A True Story by Karen Stelson, illustrations by Akira Kusaka. Itadakimasu. Traditionally spoken before eating a meal, this Japanese word means we humbly receive this food. No one knows how old grandmother's bowl is. No one remembers who made it. No one can count how many times the bowl has passed from mother to daughter. But everyone knows grandmother's bowl is precious. The city of Nagasaki sits along the Sea of Japan. Mountains rise up around the harbor and houses made of wood with paper windows dot the hillsides. On hot afternoons, Sashiko and her brothers, Aki and Ishiro, chase dragonflies as cicadas buzz their summer song. In the evenings, Sashiko's family gathers together Mother places grandmother's bowl in the middle of the low table. As always, the bowl offers good things to eat. Squid, eel, octopus, and udon noodles. Sashiko and her family press their hands together and bow their heads. Itadakimasu, they whisper. As Sashiko grows older, the sounds of war come to Nagasaki the clanging of hammers building torpedoes, the marching of soldiers training for battle, the cries of those whose husbands, fathers, and brothers have been killed in the fighting. War for Sashiko means less and less of everything. Now grandmother's bowl offers only bits of mackerel floating in broth, but the family is still together. Even sister Misa and little Toshi Learn to press their hands together. Itadakimasu. The sounds of war grew even closer. The grunts of boys and girls digging air raid shelters into hillsides. The wail of air raid sirens echoing through the city. The rumbles of enemy bombers flying overhead. Sashiko is eager to start school, but after the first day, the school closes. Too dangerous, says the principal as he looks up at the sky. The family still gathers each night for the evening meal. Now grandmother's bowl offers only wheat balls floating in boiled water. Mother says, eat everything, children. Every bit is precious. Sashiko and her family press their hands together and bow their heads. Itadakimasu. Summer comes again. The hot month of August arrives. On August 9th, Sashiko's father visits a sick friend. Mother prepares breakfast. Aki, Ishiro, and Sashiko wait at the low table. So do Misa and little Toshi. Suddenly, the air raid sirens begin to wail. Everyone runs for the shelter. They leave everything behind, even grandmother's bowl. Together, they huddle in the cave with their neighbors, hoping no bomb will fall from the sky. Finally, a siren blares, all clear. Everyone sighs. Outside, Sashiko's friends ask if she would like to play house. Yes, she would. Sashiko and her friends laugh together and make mud dumplings with their small hands. An enemy bomber rumbles high above the clouds no one notices until it is too late. Sashiko looks around her. What happened? Father, mother, Sashiko, and Misa survive. Brothers, Aki, and Ishiro do too, but not Toshi. Little Toshi is killed in the blast. Through the day and into the night, fires burn across the city. Early in the morning, Sashiko's father makes a decision. We must leave Nagasaki. A train is coming to take us away from the city. 
We must go now. Follow me. Everywhere people are suffering. I'm so thirsty, voices whisper. Water, please, please, water. In a small hospital away from Nagasaki, Sashiko's brothers are now very sick. No one understands why. No one understands it is because of the radiation from the bomb. Aki dies, then Ishiro dies. Sashiko and sister Misa become ill. So do f mother and father. Ice chips help soothe their burning throats, but nothing can stop the pain, not even the end of the war. Two years pass before Nashiko's, Sashiko's family returns to Nagasaki. Sashiko's father digs through the rubble that was once their home. Something glimmers in the dust, something green and shiny. Grandmother's bowl, it has survived without even a chip or crack. Everyone in Sashiko's family has touched this bowl. Everyone has eaten from it, even Aki, Ishiro, and little Toshi. At their evening meal, Sashiko's mother places the precious bowl in the middle of a wooden crate. Sashiko and her family press their hands together and bow their heads. Itadakimasu. As cicadas sing their summer song, another August night arrives. In the morning, Sashiko's family kneels in front of the wooden crate. This time, Sashiko's mother fills grandmother's bowl with ice. Sashiko's mother speaks softly. We must never forget what happened on this day. Remember how a chip of ice eased our thirst? As ice melts, let us remember all who suffered and all who died. We must pray that such a terrible war never happens again. Five years pass. The radiation from the bomb makes more people sick. Sashiko's sister becomes ill and dies. Another five years pass. Sashiko's father becomes ill and dies. Each August, Sashiko's mother fills grandmother's bowl with ice. Sashiko and her mother watch the ice melt. Together, they remember what happened. Together, they pray for peace. Then Sashiko's mother becomes ill and dies. In August, Sashiko fills grandmother's bowl with ice. She bows her head as the ice melts. Grandmother's bowl is now Sashiko's to care for. Sashiko fills grandmother's bowl with good things to eat just as her mother did. She presses her hands together and bows her head. Itadakimasu. One August night, 50 years after the war's end, Sashiko fills grandmother's bowl with ice. She can no longer be silent about what happened to her. She must tell her story. The world must know that such a bomb can never be used again. That evening, Sashiko stands before a group of children and shares her story for the first time. She begins, what happened to me must never happen to you and the children listen.